I'm very lucky to represent District 18. Uh, the best phrase to describe my legislative district is beautifully diverse. Uh, we've got lots of folks from lots of different walks of life. Uh, we have Wheaton, which is where I grew up, Silver Spring, Kensington, where I live now, Chevy Chase, uh, which is a very affluent area. And so I'm really proud to represent all the parts of my district. Uh, and I'm so happy that I have a diverse one with people from different walks of life. One of my top priorities is the issue of gun violence. And in Maryland, we have important legislation that I'm support, supporting to ban ghost guns, uh, led by the Attorney General, as well as my colleague, Senator Susan Lee. So I'm proud to be part of that legislation and excited about the opportunity to move it this year. I also have a goal related to gun manufacturer liability. As you know, at the federal level, uh, pro-gun forces and the NRA have, have passed federal legislation ensuring that gun manufacturers are never in violation based on what people do with their products. Um, I think that's a mistake and we can have state legislation changing that to ensure that gun manufacturers who, let's be clear, know what is happening with their product can be held liable for the violence that their product causes. I had for a while been preparing legislation that would provide no cost, confidential peer counseling for our firefighters. This is a traumatic event for those who experienced it. And they oftentimes need access to mental health services. And this bill would mandate that such services be free and confidential for our firefighters. Uh, police in Maryland already have this right. It's time to include firefighters and other EMS workers in that. I think my constituents can look forward to a big session with bold progressive legislation. That includes funding record amounts for education, uh, not only for schools and physical structures, which of course is critical, but also operating funds to make sure our teachers who have made so many sacrifices during COVID uh, can be paid fairly. Information is key. To stay informed on what's happening in Montgomery County, like, share, and subscribe to our channel.